Okay, here is the my Pro 4 4600 KV. Uh, the you can't really see in there, but anyway, it, it seized up. Um, took it apart, and normally there's Kevlar windings around the rotor. Well, about half of them were torn off, and they were all wedged up inside the can against the stator. So I was looking into it closer, and three of these bearings completely were loose. I mean, I could grab the end and pry it open, or pry it up. Um, initially, I thought it was just one, but it, there was actually three of them. So I don't know if they were improperly glued to begin with or they maybe they don't glue them all the way and the Kevlar are supposed to hold them uh, that I don't know but so it, what I did do was I went online to see what kind of thing people are using to glue these glue magnets back and uh, JB Weld was the, like the number one hit that came up so I did that yesterday I JB welded each one of the magnets back on and uh, so I'm going to reassemble it and we'll see uh, if it works anymore, I hope. But I did have to clean out a little bit of inside, well actually a lot of it, it was wedged in those grooves but uh, it's pretty well clean now so we'll put it back together see what happens. These are 3.30 seconds here. Actually, I don't know if that's right, but what, it's all right. It doesn't matter. So put the end bell back on. Sensor plate back on the rotor. We'll slide it back in. It's going to want to jump, but just got to guide it in straight. Okay. Back in there. And it feels nice and free. Let's get the get it completely screwed down first. So, let's see here. Oop. Wrong spot. I'm hoping the sensor board didn't burn up, but we'll see when they get it all back together. Some more on his diesel coming by. Just don't over tighten these. now spins so that's a good sign since it didn't spin at all before put the end plate back on
and I did check the ohms between AB, BC, AC, and they're all about 0.4 ohms. So they're supposed to be consistent, so that generally that indicates that nothing happened to the windings. No guarantees though, but at least they're not shorting out on each other. Okay, so it's uh, back together. Spinning now. So I'll solder on some wire, or solder some wires onto it, and uh, we'll see if it actually works. So now I have it hooked up to uh, my SC10 <laughs> through a Castle MMP. Uh, no sensors connected right now. Uh, it's just kind of hanging there. But let's see how it goes. Okay, well that works. That's good. Let's see what happened if the sensor's connected. So do that here real quick. Let's see what that does. Turn it back on. So that seemed to work. Nothing smooth, too. Now I gotta decide whether I want to put a new rotor in it. It seems to work. I'll just let it go. Ah! Happy days.